Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me as close as I can get to water, I miss it so much. I'm in Cork Harbour, I'm looking across over here at Black Rock Castle. I'm still within my five kilometres from where I live, so I said, you know what, I'll come down here for sunset. Uh, high tide is not that far away, I'm hoping that the water goes somewhat but calm so I can get some nice photographs of the castle with some reflections as well, hopefully. Now there's a chance, there's a slim chance, but you never know, nonetheless there's still a chance. I'm setting up at the moment here, I'm going to be shooting with my long lens, I'm just waiting for the sun now to get lower in the sky because the light is quite harsh there at the moment and there's a bit of haze as well that's there. But what I'm going to be doing today is try and get some photographs of the castle, like I said, um, between a long exposure photograph and a standard exposure photograph and hopefully there might be a nice bit of cloud. There's a clear blue sky day so there's no clouds but there's a small tiny bit of cloud that I can see on the horizon that's there and when I'm using my zoom lens it's actually filling the frame so if that cloud stays there and it catches a bit of light that's going to come from the sunset we will be nice, we will get a nice photograph but either which way still good to get out, still good to practice, it's still good to come to a location that I wouldn't ordinarily come to but you know what, like I said, I want to see what I can get, I want to keep in the practice as well. So yeah, I'm going to wait here, we get set up and uh, yeah, I'll give you a look anyway sure, as we go along and we wait for that light then. While I'm waiting now for the sun to go down, you can just see it here in the distance and it's setting down over some of the cranes that are there in the harbour that are used to take the goods off the ships as they will come in. And I think I've got a photograph of the sun sitting right in between both uh, cranes and the cables as well that are coming through it. On the long lens there I'm at 200mm and I'm at f16. But yeah, definitely uh, I think a challenge anyway to shoot directly into the sun but who knows, it might work, it may not work but I'm going to do it anyway while I'm waiting um, for the sun to set and then to get some nice light as well on the side of the castle. So yeah, we'll see, these, we'll see what this one turns out like and then we'll wait for the light to change. Sun has gone down now and I think I got a couple of nice shots actually, the sun setting between those cranes but now I'm moving back to what I wanted to photograph which was Black Rock Castle and the water is a bit calm actually here in front of me so we might end up getting calm water, who knows but right now I've got my uh, 10 stop equivalent on and I'm taking a long exposure uh, to smooth out the water but I won't get any reflection because the water is quite rough uh, over there by the castle but there's no clouds either, so those clouds that I was hoping for to catch light, they're not there either, but I still think that it's going to be a nice photograph. Now I'm also hopeful as well because uh, in the month of March, uh, they light up the castle here green for St. Patrick's Day. So they might be lighting it up, who knows, it might be green. So if it is, I'll get a nice photograph of that as well after the, uh, the light goes down and they start turning on the lights. But yeah, we're gonna continue on anyway here, we're gonna take this shot, and then hopefully, that's, as you see with the water here going a bit calm, it might end up going calm all the way across the harbour. Doubtful, but there's always a chance. But yeah, we'll see anyway here how we go. So the 
water hasn't gone flat, but I have a flat bit of area in front of me. So what I've done is I've put the camera as low as I can get it on this tripod and I'm really kind of looking across the water at the flat part of the water. I've got the castle then just framed to the very, very top and with the orange glow that I'm getting after sunset, that's been reflected as well in the water. So by coming down low then, I can get a small bit of a reflection, but I'll definitely get some nice light on it as well. There is no light on the castle just yet. Maybe it will kick off, I'm not quite sure, but this is something that, you know, it's definitely different anyway, and using the long lens, I can zoom in, compress the scene, and it does give a different type of photograph. I've really enjoyed myself coming out this evening. Okay, granted, I don't think I've got any major beautiful images, but I definitely have some nice images to kind of show me what's possible again, I suppose, in regards to if I get nice conditions here. Flat water, I think, would be beautiful. Like I say, with that lit up as well, it could be quite nice. It might still do it yet. I'm going to hang around in here for a short period of time uh, to see if it does light up, and I'm going to continue to take a couple of shots as well here. But I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. Thank you very, very much, as always, for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this unorthodox adventure. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Falls.